everyone welcome to the course of microwave engineering in today's class we are going to learn about microwave tubes okay so actually what are these microwave tubes for what these microwaves are uh, designed we will be uh, learning it in this session so before going into the discussion of microwave tubes uh, we will be seeing from what these microwave tubes have been evolved so before microwave tubes what tubes were used okay what were the disadvantages of those tubes and uh, why we have been opted microwave tubes we will see okay so before getting into the microwave tubes we used to have conventional tubes conventional tubes are nothing but we can also call it as traditional tubes or we can also call it as old method tubes so these conventional tubes we have three types like uh, uh, triodes tetrodes and pentodes okay these triodes tetrodes and pentodes you can observe it here these are the images of these triodes tetrodes and pentodes these were located in most of the electronic devices where signal sources were were producing very less power and also at very less microwave frequencies what's happening as the technology is advancing and technology is going day by day okay so each and every electronic device is uh, most of the electronic device are very compact and also need to produce high performance okay almost all the micro almost all the electronic devices nowadays are having microprocessors and microcontrollers with lots of multitasking things and they are also communicating with respect to wired as well as wireless okay so there is a need of high power as well as high frequency signals for this kind of advanced electronic devices which we are using in these days okay for that if at all we are going for this kind of conventional tubes like pentodes tetrodes okay and this kind of things okay as the device size is very very small okay even though they try to generate more kind of a microwave energy okay they will be having lot of noise levels as well as they will result in lesser handling capacity okay so uh, these were the basic or the important uh, disadvantages we have seen in a uh, conventional tubes these conventional tubes are mainly designed for generating low power with low microwave frequencies as the technology is keep on growing we need more energy or more power with high frequency signals but if at all we use these kind of conventional tubes for generating those kind of high frequency signal as we have already seen it results in it results in lesser handling capacity as well as there will be an increased noise level okay so to avoid these things they got a concept called microwave tubes okay they have designed these microwave tubes okay these are far better than a conventional tubes they have designed these microwave tubes in such a way that okay they will be generating higher power with higher micro microwave frequencies okay so what are these microwave tubes actually microwave tubes are electron guns which are generating beams these beams are nothing but our microwaves so as we already know these microwave frequency will be ranging from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz so these microwave tubes will generate or and amplify high levels of microwave signals compared to the conventional tubes okay so in the olden electronic devices there was a necessity of less power with less frequency so it conventional or a traditional tubes were used triodes tetrodes and pentodes these were used to produce low power with low microwave frequencies as the technology is growing as the electronic devices are getting complex and they are wired or wirelessly communicating with the various signals there is a need of high power with high microwave signals but whenever these conventional tubes try to provide such high power and high microwave signals they results in 
lesser handling capacity it was very much tough to handle those uh, high power and high microwave signals and even though if at all it is uh, they will handle there used to be a lot of noise levels okay that's why to avoid all these things they have designed microwave tubes where microwave tubes are nothing but electron guns which are generating microwaves these frequencies ranges from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz they also generate as well as amplify the microwave signals compared to the conventional tubes okay if you see here these are some of the microwave tubes which are used in real time applications okay which keeps on generating high power with high microwave signals okay so in order to avoid such kind of less handling capacity and increased noise levels they have introduced microwave tubes over conventional tubes okay so here what you see are few microwave tubes where cavity klystron micro multi cavity klystron traveling wave tube you can also call it as twt tube backward wave oscillators magnetron uhf tubes all these are microwave tubes mainly designed for generating high power and high frequency that is also microwave frequencies okay this is what the concept of a microwave tubes okay so in order to come across the disadvantages of a conventional tubes microwave tubes are designed for generating high power with high microwave frequencies and these are some of the microwave tubes cavity klystron multi cavity klystron traveling wave tube backward wave oscillator magnetron and uhf tubes okay mm -hmm.